In the mystical land of Nihonako, where the vibrant culture of feudal Japan intertwined with the rich heritage of the old Mexican pueblos, a legend was born. His name was Alejandro Ramirez, a Mexican mariachi samurai whose soul resonated with the melodies of his guitar and the swift strikes of his katana. But fate had a cruel twist in store for Alejandro and his band of merry musicians. One fateful evening, as the moon hung low over the land, Alejandro and his mariachi bandmates gathered in a small pueblo square to serenade the villagers with their enchanting tunes. Their melodies soared through the air, filling hearts with joy and bringing smiles to weary faces. Little did they know that their music had caught the attention of a powerful and malevolent figure, Lord Cage, a ruthless samurai warlord who sought to conquer both Mihanico and the Mexican Pueblos. Enraged by the mariachi band's ability to unite the people against his oppressive rule, Lord Cage ordered his merciless samurai warriors to slaughter Alejandro's bandmates, leaving him as the sole survivor. The echoes of their haunting melodies were forever silenced, replaced by the deafening sound of Alejandro's broken heart. Swearing vengeance upon the souls of his fallen comrades, Alejandro embarked on a perilous quest to avenge their murders and restore harmony to Nihonico. With his trusty katana strapped to his back and his guitar strung across his chest, Alejandro journeyed through the hybrid landscape, a world where cherry blossoms danced alongside cacti, and ancient pagodas stood tall beside colorful adobe houses. Along his path, he encountered wise old shamans who taught him the secrets of ancient Mexican magic, granting him the ability to summon the spirits of his fallen bandmates during battle. As Alejandro delved deeper into the heart of Nihonico, he faced countless trials and battles against Lord Cage's relentless samurai warriors. Each clash of steel and each strum of his guitar brought him closer to his goal, his melodies now infused with a newfound power that could shatter the darkness that plagued the land. Word of Alejandro's quest spread like wildfire, inspiring the oppressed villagers to rise against Lord Cage's tyranny. They joined forces with Alejandro, forming a rebellion that echoed with the spirit of the mariachi band's lost melodies. The land of Nihonico erupted in a symphony of revolution, and Alejandro's legend grew with each victory. Finally, the day of reckoning arrived as Alejandro stood face to face with Lord Cage, the embodiment of darkness and despair. The air crackled with tension as Alejandro's guitar strings hummed with raw energy. With a single strum, the spirits of his fallen bandmates materialized, lending their strength to Alejandro's blade. In a breathtaking display of skill and determination, Alejandro clashed with Lord Cage, their swords dancing in a deadly waltz. The melodies of Alejandro's guitar soared, empowering his strikes and weakening his foe. With one final, resounding chord, Alejandro's katana found its mark, piercing through Lord Cage's heart. The tyrant fell, his reign of terror shattered forever. As the dust settled, Alejandro Ramirez stood victorious, his heart filled with both sorrow and triumph. The land of Nihonico, now free from the grip of darkness, celebrated the mariachi samurai's heroic deeds. And though his bandmates could never be brought back, Alejandro's melodies would forever echo through the hearts of the people, a testament to the power of music, love, and the unyielding spirit of a Mexican mariachi samurai.